remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? This is the gay male escort found naked and overdosing on crystal meth in a hotel room with the leading Democrat. Oh, man, this is about to get serious. Andrew Gillum, a married father of three who narrowly missed out on becoming Florida's first black governor, was too inebriated to speak when cops arrived at the Ritzy Mondrian Hotel in Miami's South Beach Party District. He was inside the room early Friday with two more men, one of them a 30-year-old male escort named Travis Dyson, who was being treated by paramedics for a suspected drug overdose. Cops found three plastic bags of suspected crystal meth and a third man present. Family, I want you to hear this story. This is an incredible story. I want you to hear it all the way out. And you tell me what you think Andrew Gillum was doing inside of that room with that gay male escort all alone doing drugs inebriated at least one guy was naked 56 year old Aldo Mahitis told officers that Gillum and Dyson had been under the influence of an unknown substance the report also noted that 40 year old Gillum a former Tallahassee mayor and regular CNN contributor was seen vomiting in the bathroom and required a welfare check to see if he was okay. Now check this out, family. Police are not pressing charges over the incident and Gillum denied taking drugs. However, he later issued a groveling apology over his behavior. I was in Miami last night for a wedding celebration when first responders were called to assist one of my friends. While I had too much to drink, I want to be clear that I have never used methamphetamine. I apologize to the people of Florida for the distraction this has caused our movement. Miami Beach resident Dyson describes himself as a trauma certified ER nurse on social media where he posts photos of himself working out in the gym, partying at gay night spots, and lounging on luxury yachts. But it was revealed he also posts explicit photos and homemade porn movies online and has previously had a profile on the Rent.Men website, which advertises male escorts and sex workers. It's unclear how he's connected to Gillum, who narrowly missed out on becoming Florida's governor in 2018 when he lost the gubernatorial race to Republican Ron DeSantis. Gillum met his wife while they were studying at Florida A&M. Together they have three children. Check this out, family. When contacted by the Miami New Times, Dyson said he's known Gillum for a while, but he ain't know nothing about no wedding. Yeah. Can you say game over? Here's the breakdown. According to the Miami Beach Police Department, officers were called out at 12.55 a.m. after reports of a guest suffering a cardiac arrest at the four-star Mondrian Hotel, where rooms cost upwards of $220 per night. They arrived to find paramedics performing first aid on Dyson in the wake of a suspected drug overdose and preparing to take him to the hospital. Mejia is described in the report as the complainant told officers he had given his credit card details to Dyson on Thursday afternoon to rent a hotel room. Mejias arrived at the hotel to discover Travis Dyson and Andrew Gillum inside the room under the influence of an unknown substance, the report states. Per Mr. Mejias, Mr. Dyson opened the door and immediately walked over to the bed and collapsed in a prone position. Mr. Mejias observed Mr. Gillum inside of the bathroom vomiting. Mr. Mejias stated that he had observed Mr. Dyson having difficulty breathing, prompting him to wake up. Mr. Dyson then began vomiting on the bed and immediately collapsed again. Mr. Mejias began conducting chest compressions on Mr. Dyson and proceeded to contact police and fire rescue. 
Officers then attempted to speak to Mr. Gillum. Mr. Gillum was unable to communicate with the officers due to his inebriated state. The report says officers performed several welfare checks on Gillum and he was described as being in stable condition and his vitals are normal. Dyson, meanwhile, was conscious and in stable condition in the hospital. Inside of the hotel room, officers observed in plain sight three small clear plastic baggies containing suspected crystal meth on both the bed and the floor of the hotel room, the report went on. Mr. Gillum left the hotel room and returned to his residence without incident. No arrests were made and police do not plan on bringing charges. At this time, the incident is not being investigated as a criminal matter, said a spokeswoman for the Miami Beach Police Department. Can you say favoritism of privilege? What that money and that connect can get ya? Whoa. Man. I ain't gonna waste no time on this. Better that his wife find out now than later. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.